Hey what's up, welcome back to the channel, and today we take a look at man refusing to pay child support. So let's jump into it right after you subscribe. Mr. Vogel, you currently owe $43,000 in child support yes, for the defendant's son, who you say is not yours, and you claim to know who his father is. That's right. Once today's results prove that you are not his biological father, you say you will return to your home state to get this enormous debt erased. Yes. Ms. Vogel, you say the plaintiff is motivated by money and have always believed he is your son, William's father. Yes, After 30 years, you are finally ready to prove the truth today. Is that yes, correct? Yes, yes. So, Mr. Vogel, who do you believe his father is? My brother, David. Oh. She had sex with my brother in the car, my car in the parking lot in Janesville, Wisconsin. Okay, wait a minute. L just take me back. I'm sorry, Your Honor, but uh, it, it, there was no sex in the car. It was under a bridge. My son is a bridge, baby. Really, you are standing in court to prove that. This guy is his biological son, and the very first thing you want to correct your ex-husband of is the place where you cheated and had sex with his brother, which also is your brother-in-law, for that matter. Lord help this woman. Hey, I don't know where he got that, but... But you're admitting that you were intimate with his brother. Yes, ma'am. Just not in the car, yes, under a bridge. Yes, Your Honor, I was. Let's get it right. <laughs> so... What was the nature of your relationship with Mr. Vogel? It was real rocky. Okay. Real rocky. But and you were married? Yes, I was. Okay, to Mr. Vogel? Yes. William was born during your marriage? Yes, sir. So you would be presumed to be the father? Yes, Your Honor. So during the time in which Ms. Vogel is pregnant, do you believe William is your child during that time? Do you know about this sex with your brother? I had a thought that it possibly it was somebody in my family, and I figured it was probably my brother. You start to think, and things are going wrong in the relationship, and my brother is doing certain things, and it's like, wait a minute, you two must be getting together or something, and that's when everything started clicking in my head, and I started putting dates together. He was born on uh, November 17th. She had divorced me already, and I went down to Kentucky to talk to her for a little while. I stayed with her for like three or four days, and she told me the story of the car, and February 19th, I guess, just to get me mad and get me going, and she had sex with my brother. After three years, we got married. What kind of woman sleeps with his own husband's brother, then divorces the husband, tells him about her love affair with his own brother, to rub salt into his wounds, and then marries the same brother she slept with throughout her marriage? This is as confusing as it is shocking, both from her and the brother of this man. Oh, so then you married his brother? Yeah, three years after I divorced him. H how do you get to a point where you're going to sleep with your husband's brother? Well, the, the bridge thing, he, I mean, he treated me better. He was good to me. And he just was that smooth that he just talked me right out of my bridges. <laughs> Literally. And Can I interject for a moment? Uh, you'd have to actually get a better understanding of his brother, David. Uh, this man, he, he, he's got a sly tongue. He's got a snake's tongue. Uh, he could pretty much talk anybody into generally anything. So I wouldn't doubt what my mother's saying. Uh, what are you thinking? I haven't had a secure thought in years. About two years ago, my mom pretty much, she came to me and she told me there's a possibility that David could be my father. And what she basically told me was that she had had sex with him under a bridge. Now, that's my understanding of it. It hasn't changed over the last two years. Okay. Who did you grow up believing was your biological father? Well, I had grown to the age of five and my understanding that David was my father. And then all of a sudden my mother had kind of come to me when I was five and gave me a better understanding that my uncle Daniel might have been my father. And then she basically told me that he was my father. So I had, had, had a lot of head trips at that point in time. Didn't really understand at that point. Whose head won't trip. When your mother says that your uncle is your real father, then after some time says that your father is your real father, and then again after some time changes her proposition on this matter. Such statements would make any any sane man go absolutely insane, let alone a five-year-old boy who is not even fully developed mentally or physically. I'm head tripping right now. <laughs> but Mr. Vogel, Daniel here is the one paying child support for you. Yes, Ron. Yes, Ron. It's all about the money anyway. It's not about the money, it's about the children. I have this right here, which is proof that $43,000. Let me see that evidence, please, Jerome. This is proof of paid, the amount of support you've been paying. I've been paying in two states since 1990. Uh, they're taking my federal tax down in Kentucky. The state of Wisconsin is taking my state tax. I have no money. My three children, my wife, raised with me in the house because I had no money. I couldn't give them Christmas presents. I couldn't give them birthday presents. I couldn't do nothing for my own children. And these are my children. These are pronounced to not be my children. It's not here. So for, it's, over $43,000 owed Yes. on children you don't know are really your biological children. Right, William, you don't know. And truthfully, William grew up, he didn't even think at first you were his biological father. Right, but right. you were paying support even all that time. Yes, Your Honor. The legal lesson in this is that 
the court is going to consider the best interest of the child. Right. And the real legal lesson in this case is that the court does not care about the man being the biological father or not. They would just stamp an order in favor of the mother, and the father has to oblige with it, or he goes to jail. As the woman said, it's all about the money. And don't get me wrong, he could still be the father of this man, but this just exposes how unjust the court system is for men. If the child was born during the marriage, you're presumed to be the father. Yes, I know you are. And, and most states give a window of time yes. to refute that, to bring proof. Well, Your Honor, I have I've even for all in years and, and I was just about to say, and some courts don't choose to acknowledge they or move acknowledge forward if afraid. they believe it's in the best interest of the child. I have. And now I have a young man standing in my courtroom, quite frankly, that says, he hasn't had a secure thought in years no, he because he doesn't have a firm foundation no, because he, he doesn't know who his father is. It's like changing by the decade. Yeah. One decade, he has one father. Next the next decade, decade, that father is his uncle and then the uncle is the father. The next decade, then that uncle becomes his father and the father becomes an uncle. This is too much. So once, William, you got word that potentially Mr. Vogel, Daniel, could, could be your biological father, how did the dynamic change then? Well, at that point in time, I, w I wanted to get to know my father. I wanted to get to know the man standing here before us. Uh, I actually took a little bit of time and actually had the opportunity to go and spend a little bit of time with him. He's a wonderful man. Uh, I didn't really get much time beyond that. Uh, off and on throughout the years, I've had times here and there just kind of juggled between my, my mother and my, my supposed biological I never got to see my kid. And he got to see me once in a while. It, it wasn't very often. The majority of the time living with David, I had actually been moved around from state to state. We really didn't stay in one place for a very long period of time. Uh, so my understanding of it was David was my father because he was the one raising me, but Daniel was my biological father. And so well, you're you're in a situation where your uncle could be your father, but your father and your father could be your uncle. Yes, sir. Either way, your uncle is. Either way, either way my uncle is my father. Either way. <laughs> the people in the background can laugh about it all they want, but just for once think how heartbreaking it would be for that man to digest the fact that his father is not his real father, but his uncle is. And either way, one of his uncle is his biological father, and who is to held responsible for all of this? It's his mother, who decided to sleep with her own husband's brother. And also, the brother is equally responsible for creating this mess. And I come from the state of Kentucky, so that sounds kind of <laughs> offbeat, so I mean, really, <laughs> wagon. Mr. Vogel, sometimes you just have to laugh to keep from crying, people, okay? Sometimes you just have to laugh. Mr. Vogel, have you ever tried to figure out a timeline to piece this together? Because the truth is, if she was still married to you when William was conceived, then that's why we're here, is because potentially you could be his biological father as well as your brother. And I have beat myself up for many years trying to figure out the difference between this, the timeline, and everything else. Okay, let, let's this walk through I've this. walked through the dates. I've done everything for Walk years. through the dates with me. Walk through the dates with me. She told me February 19th of 84. That was the story back then. February 19th of 84 was what? Was when her and my brother had sexual relations. 